Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update to my whole collection Project Tempen and this update is long overdue. I think I posted my last one in early January so yeah it's definitely about time that I did an update. Unfortunately I don't have any empties in this update but I'm pretty sure I will have in my next one. So next update is going to be not beginning of April but the beginning of May I believe and this year I am doing this in collaboration with a bunch of ladies that are also doing this project so I will leave them listed in my description box so you can go and check them out and special shout out to Emily who was the one who asked me if I wanted to join in in the collab and also have been putting together lists like master lists of all everyone doing this project and just keeping us together on Instagram so yeah thank you so much to Emily for doing that and let's just get into my update okay so first off we have this eyeshadow and I think this has been here since either my intro or my first update and this is the call pop hear me out so you all have, you all have seen this a million times but this is just an eyeshadow that I use to kind of set my eyeshadow primer basically or my eyeshadow base and yeah I will insert photos and last time I I think I repressed it after my last update so it will look a bit different um but yeah I'm still using it and I mean <laughs> it has to end sometime but I have like I don't know how to like predict when this is going to be done so we're just gonna keep using it. Then we have another item that has been in here for a very long time and this is this sleek uh, true color lipstick in the shade baby doll and this is just like a, a baby pink I can swatch it because I think I, I haven't done that in quite a while so it's just like a re really really like baby pink kind of it's very shiny kind of not really sheer but a very very like creamy formula and I have actually been using this more lately than I had been previously and that is as a cream blush so I did use up the blush that I had in this project in my last update and then I decided to start using this as cream blush I do forget it sometimes like I put on my foundation and then I put on my concealer and then before I set the concealer I want to go in with this one but but because I don't want my concealer to crease I'm usually kind of like hurrying when I have done my under eye concealer to like set it down with powder and then as soon as I put down my powder I'm like oh no now I forgot to use this as a blush so I am remembering to use it sometimes but not probably as much as I should but hopefully you will be able to see progress on this one now and I will continue to make more progress on it uh, in the coming month. Okay and then we have another product that finally has some um, progress as well and this is the NYX Wonder Pearl Seal in the shade Light and my goal last time was to use this every single time I did my makeup and I haven't done that. I think it would have been almost done if I had but I feel like it's getting uh, much like smaller. It's getting almost like it's not enough but it's like it's <laughs> shorter. <laughs> of course but yeah I am I have I just sharpen it today the way I've been using it recently is that if I do kind of like a look to, like the one I have today where I do more of a dramatic look I will go like I will look like the first step I will sit down do my skincare and then I would take this kind of all over my eyelids um just kind of strokes and then I will put a tiny bit of concealer on top of that and then I will kind of blend it together so that I get a tiny bit drier than just concealer but more creamy <laughs> than only this one uh, so I've been using it a bit more and I think you can see more like I can think you can see quite a bit of progress so that is exciting like now I feel like I can use it up so like it's gonna happen <laughs> I finally have some progress on that one okay so those were kind of the items that I have good progress on and I'm happy I have good progress on these two uh, since I the previous updates I've been really bad with using them at all but now we get into an area of the products that don't have much progress at all I have one uh, more coming later that that have that has a lot of pro progress on it uh, but otherwise not so much so let's just go through them quickly First off we have the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette and I am working on this shade right here which is Mustard. It, it has kind of like a tiny bit of a dip and I think I had that in my last update as well. Um, but I don't use it very often because I have an all matte pan palette and I kind of 
I used that one first, so yeah, we'll see. These eyeshadows will be here for a really long time because then we also have this one. This is the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place. And in here I am working on this shade right here, which is called Burkina, and I haven't used that one at all. I think I've used the Venus, the Lime Crown one a few times, but I, the, the Juvia's Place I know I haven't used at all. Same with this one, this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette in shade Bling Boss, and in here I'm the shade Sparks is in this project, and I haven't used this at all. Okay, so then we have another shadow um, that is this... A Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Sugar and this is kind of like a it's kind of like a bluish teal and I mentioned this in my roulette pan club because I've been mixing it with another shade that is very golden and I promised Rebecca that I would kind of layer them because I've done that several times and but I didn't have a photo so I promised her that I would do that like my makeup like that the day after but I haven't worn makeup from when I posted my Roulette Pan Collab update until now, except for now, and I didn't want to use it now. So I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try and do, um, like, layer them and get a photo, and I'm gonna pop it up now. So I don't have it now, but I'm gonna <laughs> do it, like, apply this makeup and then take a photo and do that before I post this update. So, yeah, that is what it looks like. It kind of... It kind of gives it like a silverish kind of taupey color, so I feel like this look pretty good layered together and I think that's how I'm gonna make progress on this one. I think you can see that I have a tiny bit of a dip but not like, it's taken me longer than I think just because this is a bit of a drier, it's not like completely new so it's not one of those like super squishy, it's kind of a bit drier so working on that one. And then I also have this uh, W7 Metal Flush Metallic Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Iridescent. And I've used this a few times, I can't really say how many times, I can't remember. Um, but I've used it a few times and not enough to show any progress. And then we only have one item left I believe and that is the the one that I have a lot of progress on. So this is the Colourpop Lippy Sticks and this is in the shade I'm Yours and wait for it. Ta -da! So that is how much I have left. Not much at all. I will see if I can take like a screenshot of my last video and maybe we can see how much I had then. Um, but I've I've definitely been making a lot of progress on this one, so I did think, I think I thought it would be done by now, uh, but I think definitely before my next update, I think this will be done. So I'm, I am wearing it today, uh, it's a very like easy color for me to wear, I am wearing it every day to work, so I know I will be making progress on it, uh, at least. So yeah, that was it for this update. Hopefully next time. I'm hoping this will be done uh, so I can finally roll in something. Oh, I forgot one. I forgot to talk about this one. This is the Colourpop Made to Last eyeshadow. I don't think I talked about this one. So I decided to focus on one of the eyeshadows like first in this product and I think I've decided to go with this one. I said it, it's made to last by Colourpop and if I hope you can tell that there is like a tiny 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 bit of a dip. So I've been layering this with another shadow in my panel palette and yeah, I think that is the route I'm going to go. So I'm going to try and focus on that one first and then I will hopefully get to the other shadows in this project uh, eventually. So yeah, that was it. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!